on a very depressing note, a couple has been arrested uh, for apparently locking girls to perform live sex online. So what happens is that police are holding a man and his wife on suspicion of running a brothel after they raided their house in Donom Estate on Tuesday and found half-naked women. The couple were arrested in their six-bedroom mansionette, which they live with their children together with five sex performers. The sex performers reportedly engage in lesbianism with each other for an online audience. How sick is our community, guys? What, what this girl described was there's like a, a room or a dungeon where computers and screens are mounted and there's this live aud audience from foreigners and the, and the kids are told to now... It is sad it's just so that we have gotten to this extent that we use our kids to perform such illegal and and what can we do you see this is a house in an estate don't we know our neighbors don't we know what these people are, are doing clearly nyumbakumi initiative does not work does not work nyumbakumi initiative does not work yeah, at all we need it in anger to implement it in the first place what happens to the estate jamas and what goes on uh, because i find it hard okay i don't know maybe for these people to actually do this and nobody to actually get a whiff because they live in the same house with their children. Yeah, this is a very sad story. Honestly, I can't imagine what would make anyone do something like that to children. I think as adults, we should be empowering our children to do right and bring them up in the right way. So if, it, if this, this couple was doing this and their own children are living there, I shudder to think what sort of, sort of adults they're going to turn out to be and what of sort of things you know, they've gone through yes. and how they live their lives. Because it's very traumatizing for a child, I would imagine. Yeah. To one, witness these things or to be part of these things. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just don't think it's right and it's very heartbreaking. The couple have been arrested and are waiting to be charged in court. Elvis, if you are the judge and these people were brought in front of you, what kind of punishment would you give them, actually? Uh, for the man, I'd ask for him to be castrated. <laughs> I knew <laughs> you'd say that. <laughs> have like some porn police who will be monitoring uh -huh. things from the, that are happening but uh, will it work w well we cannot know until we try until and we, we try. believe that any any help given is is good enough because rather than not doing anything because yeah. if you he wants a police unit established to crack down on child pornography because apparently it's been happening but we are only getting yeah, I was this just about information. To say, this is now like one case. I cannot. I can't imagine how many other cases are out there that we don't know about. Yes. Maybe we are living in estates where this is happening. You know, as in it's really a bad situation. But you know, we live in a country where when you're taken to prison or jail, whatever, whatever they take you, you're released on bond on fifty thousand. Some money that you. These people, I'm not sure they can get that money so easily. Because yeah. if people are watching this thing, the people who pay for it. Yeah. So clearly, if they they're released on bail. They will just pay that money and maybe go back to whatever they're doing and use a different strategy this time. They will even move from one house to another where they will even take other people. I think we need to sort this issue out. I think so as well. But then I also wonder where are the parents of these children? As a parent, I think you should be mindful of where your child is at all Well, when you can. Um, if your children are missing for a period of time, if they're going to their friend's house, I think as a parent you should have that um, step to know who your children are hanging around with. So I also kind of blame the parents. It's that they should take the initiative. They should take the initiative to But the thing the is, are. the lady is very honest. When uh, actually the, the girl who actually escaped came under the printers of being told that she was going to be the house help of that house. But uh, getting into it, she found that it was actually another job, not but the that one. is so wicked. And it's not as, as if she doesn't pay the kids. They are paid 15000 so maybe he, she, he or she sends the money to the parents. So the parents thinking like, oh, my daughter is working somewhere as a house elf. Yeah. And this is the money I'm receiving. That's fine. Well and good. But it's also uh, what you have said, I, I agree with you. Parents should take the initiative. Because I'm thinking like, if my daughter right now tells me I'm going to my friend's house to play. Yeah. What is going on in that house? What is house? going on? Is it that you've never visited your, your children's friend's houses or you don't know your children's friend's parents? 
it's one case that you're saying this woman went to seek a job in that house and then she saw all these things, right? But it was her aunt. You know when it's the yeah, aunt. Yeah, but then I'm saying, that. true, but then I'm saying, in the case of these children who are doing this act, their parents, where are they? When your child is not at home, let's say, mm -hmm. where has your child said they've gone? If these people are holding these children for these things, I'm trying to wonder what is it they're telling their parents back home? Yes. Do you understand? If they're being forced to do these things, one, I mean, as you should teach your children, if, in case anyone molests you yes. or violates you, this is what you need to do. Mm -hmm. So as parents, that's what I'm saying, teach your children to know what's right and wrong, so that if anything is done wrong to them, they can then speak out and say, by the way, mom, this and this happened to me. Or maybe they were threatened. <laughs> you know, you never know with these people what happens. Yes, but then as a parent, mm -hmm. if you love your child and if you have taught them to understand that no one can threaten you, then they'll know that regardless what anyone does to me, my parent has my back. Yes. You know. Hey! Anyway, we wish Ezekiel to all the best. Please push for this. We need this policy to be established. I agree.